welcome to Sunday School. We hope you have a great time with us this morning. Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday School. I'm Fran and this is Wuffles. <laughs> if you've not met us before. Well, today it's a lovely sunny day and we've got these beautiful daffodils here. And I think it's just the sort of thing that would make you feel nice and Eastery. Now, I don't think Eastery is a real word, but I guess it should be. It should be the word that means you feel happy to be celebrating Easter time. Now, we've had a really good time so far in the Easter holidays, haven't we, Wuffles? Hmm, you seem a bit undecided. Has something been happening? <laughs> oh dear. Is it okay if I let them know what it is? Well, Wuffles went round to his friend Benji's house and the two of them decided to play a game of chase. Now maybe two dogs inside a house playing chase isn't such a good idea. But what happened? You went after Benji and Benji got on the chair and you joined Benji on the chair and then Benji went after you and you got on the table and on the table was a pile of Easter eggs. So I think you can all guess where the Easter eggs ended up, then, can't we? Yeah, they ended up on the floor. So, uh, what did Benji's family say to all this happening? <coughs> Not good. No, I bet they weren't. They weren't happy at all, were they? And did they start to tell you off? But what happened then? Oh, you put on your sad face. Because you were sorry, weren't you, that you'd done it? Yeah. So what happened then? <coughs> Forgive? Oh, so Benji's family forgave you, did they? Oh, that's wonderful. So now you're a forgiven dog, you can feel really happy in Eastery, can't you? And you know, forgiveness has got an awful lot to do with the Easter story. We're going to find out some more about that later on. But first of all, we've got a game to play.
Yes, well done everybody. You did really well there remembering all those things in the basket. It was quite hard, wasn't it, Waffles? So, well done. Were you surprised at some of the things that were in the basket to do with Easter? Maybe you were expecting the chicken and the egg, but were you expecting things like a cross or a stone? Well, we'll find out how, how those fit into the Easter story now. Now, you might remember that if you've seen the last couple of Sundays call, that Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem on a donkey and all the people were really pleased to see him. And then he went on to have the meal that David told us about with all his friends. And Jesus was a bit sad because he knew that something very difficult was going to happen to him soon. David told us about this. So now we move on to find out why Jesus was feeling sad. But don't worry, the story's got a happy ending. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus ah, come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 Huh, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on. His clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own. And then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God.
Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey oh! Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Well, that really was a happy ending to the story. Jesus' friends must have been thinking that they'd never see him again after they saw him die on the cross. But then a few days later, he was back to life and they were able to talk to him again and be with him. Well, it's a good news story for us as well, you know, the fools. Do you remember that? In the story, there was an enormous curtain in the temple and it got split all the way from top to bottom without anybody touching it. Yeah, it was amazing. And that was God splitting that curtain. And what he was showing was there was no longer anything dividing us from him. Because when Jesus died, he took all the bad things that all of us have ever done unto himself. And when he did that, he enabled us to be able to get close back to God. So if we just come to him and say sorry, then Jesus will forgive us. And that closeness with God will be able to have that again. So that's really good news, isn't it, for all of us? Well, another way we can celebrate that message and also the message of Easter is to have a song. So here's a song that you'll be able to join in with. You can either sing or listen to it. And there's also a bit where you may be able to shout out. Let's meet Jesus, God's one and only son. He came to earth to save us, each and every one. Jesus, our King, the very best in me. One time he rode into the town, sitting on a donkey. Into Jerusalem for all to see. People cheered and celebrated, waving palm tree leaves. Shouting Hosanna, for the king had come that day. It's Jesus from Nazareth. That Jesus was crucified He gave himself up on a cross And then he died But three days later He rose from that grave His tomb is empty And our sins he forgave He is risen He is alive Our Savior, our friend Our King Jesus is a okay and now we 
Well, I hope you all enjoyed joining in with the song, either listening or singing. Maybe even you did a bit of shouting out when it says shout it out. You did a bit of shouting, didn't you, in dog way? You did a bit of barking. And it was very good barking too. So for today, it just remains to let you know that next time David will be back and he'll be telling us some of the things that Jesus did after he rose from the dead. So it's the next part of the story. And we'll be back about another couple of weeks after that with another Sunday school. But for now, it's bye from us and a happy Easter. Bye.